Welcome to another MyFit video. Uh, today is a theoretically easy session. That's why I'm at the house and it's actually, let me look at the temperature. I've been warming up for a while been trying to acclimate to the temperature and uh, motivate myself to do some squats. And it's a uh, no easy task. But the current temperature, I do not need Google Translate. 30, <laughs> 30 degrees. So I got the one heater going and Part of it, like I could get the other extension and have the other heater blowing, but it's just squats. If I had to do a full session, then I'd be trying to get as much heat in here, but it's just not going to help that much for squats. Like I'm as warm as I'm basically going to get um, body temperature wise, but I need to start moving more. I hit the bar a couple times. I feel a little achy and sore, but that's to be expected. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Big thing right now is just the, the temperature. Oh, IT band feels a lot better today, but I've been doing a lot of a lot of sets at the bar so far to try to make sure it's loose. All right. But originally at the program today, it was supposed to be bottom up front squats, which I just I don't ever want to do. I don't want to hurt my back or just work my back that hard. So I changed them to regular front squats. I did. When I had this exercise before, I did regular, or I did um, pause front squats, which I think is a good variation, but I kind of want to just do regular ones. And that's one of the, so when I uh, swap at the pause front squats, that is the, not the default, so I have to search for it, but front or back is a uh, an exercise swap for this one, which I don't think necessarily makes sense if it wants you to do something as drastic as a uh, bottom up front or back squat that you could just do regular back squats instead or whatever. As I feel like uh, it's drastically easier to do just the regular movement than it is um, to do a bottom up variation of it, particularly for my back. Like I just don't want to work my back that hard. And the amount of time setting it up, especially I mean, here at the house would be really hard. I've tried to do it before and it just only works my back. <laughs> it's like purely, purely a back exercise, just from the leverage, just from the way I'm built, like just sitting in a partial squat or even like a deeper squat. Like I'm just pitched over too much to where to initiate any sort of movement. It's just all lower back, which doesn't hurt, but it also just like, you just feel it in all the wrong spots and pauses are better. But today it's, uh, I'm doing, regular front squats and their doubles and they start at like 144 so similar to how i had it earlier this week so i mean in a perfect world i would do more i don't feel like i'm going to do more than 165 today but if i can do a set at 170 that'll be really nice see how many sets i have so this will be my first working set with 60. i have five sets so five doubles so we just want to make sure they feel good that nothing you know, it gets aggravated because I do have to lift pretty heavy tomorrow. But I mean, if I can hit some good strength lifts today, it's not necessarily going to help me tomorrow, but it's just going to help, you know, just in general to be stronger. I'm cheating and using music today because I got a squat and it's cold. So sue me. I got headphones on though, so I don't get copyright struck. No belt today either. I accidentally left it at the gym or in my roommate's car. One of the two places. don't feel too bad so oh, actually don't feel too bad at all which is nice just feels like normal front squats uh, where my IT band would be a little irritated but doesn't actually feel bad at all so thankfully uh, I guess I got enough sleep and hydration and all of that and stretching and whatnot to help it excuse me I think that uh Potentially, it'll just start to get worse as I get heavier, but we'll have to see. So this is 100 now. Other reason I want to do mic'd up is just so I work out faster. It's kind of nice in these sessions where I'm not going to be sitting very much in between sets because I just get too cold too fast. But after the uh, the front squats, I just have clean pulls and then some accessories. I think I talked about last video, do some uh, med ball throws and uh, maybe just 
general shoulder stuff, but let's hit this set before I get too cold. Not too bad. Doesn't feel great, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do 130. And then I'm going to go up to, I guess I could throw the yellow on. But I already put one green on. I'm going to do 130. And then go up to 145. <sighs> At least do what I did last time. 145, 155, and then hopefully 165. Uh, but we want them to move well. We want them to be theoretically easy. It just won't because it's cold, but it's a good kind of regulation thing since I am going to be training pretty heavy tomorrow to not have to, you know, not, not really be able to like truly max out. But I find that even if it's super cold, squats aren't too bad. Because the things that you struggle at when it's cold is like your hands. And you don't really need to, like my hands are cold, but it's not going to really impact my squat. <sighs> I think my old, when I did a 180 for two, my old double PR was when it was super cold. But I don't have a belt today, so I think that will uh, also be a detriment. But who knows, maybe it'll be well or go well. All right, 130. Let's do it for one. nothing to do but to do the first working set. I feel my IPBM a little bit. That's to be expected. But this is one. Sorry, I gotta take this off anyway. So I trolled myself. Ugh. There's a clip. Uh. Hardest part of front squats is literally every aspect of it. <laughs> I just, and also just love like how much more mentally difficult they are versus a pool or a deadlift at a very high percentage. Just from the way that I'm built. I know I'm not built well for squat. I mean, obviously, I can see with my own eyes, but <laughs> when it takes a lot of mental effort to maintain positions, and then I do a deadlift or something, and I just can rip like 98% or even 100% like I did the other week. Not easily, but like pretty confidently. Uh, that stuff always amuses me. If only I could be more balanced, but I can't change my genetics. Unfortunately, but I suppose for every person that's really good at front squats, they're just as bad at uh, deadlifts and stuff. Oh, five doubles. This is brutal. I might honestly do all the sets here. It might actually be pretty decent, but we'll see. I want to make sure I put some effort in and do a good set. Oh. Definitely got to get the music loud for this, so.
Ah. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, it just like slips off and it's just pitching forward and all of that. And oh, those sucked. Those sucked. And you know, part of me just wants to say, screw it, I'm deleting the video. I'm just going <laughs> to do whatever and, you know, not worry about this. But I'll commit to this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the adjustment, of course, since I failed the first set. <laughs> Uh, and do something different. This is where, unfortunately, the AI, you know, doesn't function properly. This is not, not me dogging on the app, but, like, obviously, I don't feel that bad today, but 145 was not the call. And the app originally is a point forty four. so, I mean, if it's more than a, like, I don't think I was a kilo off of getting that. So what we're going to do is load 145 back on there and try to do singles. Ugh. And take one of these layers off. Ugh. I have three layers on. I have a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, and a sweatshirt. So... We'll just do some singles today. Reps are really difficult in the front squat. Uh, and I'm going to get some benefit from doing singles anyway. And on that second rep, I wasn't really committed to it. It is what it is, though. Uh, I'm having to down-regulate myself. Not really much to talk about. Just kind of, an, I'm like slightly annoyed, but I'd be more annoyed if I really thought like I felt good. <laughs> if I really thought like, man, I'm gonna pop off my squats today. It was more of just like, well, it'd be really nice to be able to do that, but I don't know how realistic it is. And I don't think this is even like, oh, it's cold. I'd be able to do it if I was at the gym. I think maybe that first set would have been fine at the gym, but after that. I would have got smoked. So, and this is one of the tricky things. So if I go on the app and I, but, you know, I failed the set, it's of course going to drop me way down to like 128. But like, I can do that for a single and it wasn't that crazy. So instead of putting that I failed two reps, I go in and this maybe is not the correct. And I put that my work was one rep at zero reps in reserve because I did the first rep failed the second one so I literally had zero more reps in reserve and in this case I'm going to re-add front squats in again to the day and then just add singles because it wants bottom up front squats I'm not going to give it to them because that sounds just terrible and we're going to add four sets in if it will let me there we go and I think that's what I don't know what percentage, but we'll just start it at 90. Whoop. There we go. So 90 would give me 167. So obviously that's too high. But we're just going to do singles. So we're going to repeat this 145 again. And try to make it better. Try to make it move a little bit faster. And then if I feel great, maybe try to do a double. But that's the that's the problem with front squat reps. Is like For me, they don't really correlate. They do and they don't. <laughs> I can fail a double and still feel fine if for training and it not be great. But like when I did that 181, like of course that's a good like indicator I'm getting stronger. But as you see here, like I can double in excess of 170 plus on a pretty semi-regular basis. But like I'll fail a double at this weight and it doesn't really bother me because I know it's just a lot of just 
it's forward and I just can't get it back because I'm just not, I'm just too tall or too long, however I'm built. But 145 again. Now we got it loaded back on there. We'll smoke it. See, like there, if I would have done a double, I would have failed. Then, yeah, how am I supposed to rate that as far as reps and reserve? I just always give it a three if I feel like I can do this, do the same rep again. <sighs> but honestly, like, as annoying as it is, like, I don't think these singles will actually be that bad for me to do. <sighs> it's just good practice for the movement, and I can try to be a little bit more dynamic. I'm feeling it a little bit more in my IT band. So I do have to be kind of aware of that, but it's not bad enough where I want to stop or anything. Looking for the other, other strap. I guess I'm using iron mines today. Oh, there's the other one. I actually like the um, Gabrielson crane straps. Obviously I cut them apart. <laughs> I massacred them. So it's just the material essentially at this point, but I like uh, them separate and they feel pretty good for like deadlifts and stuff, but for the regular lifts, I haven't got the feel feel of them yet. I don't think I ever will. I think I'm just too used to the iron mine ones, but oh. I must say these do feel horrendous, but we'll go ahead and do another set. A little, little extra chalk on the on the chesty. On the chesticles. These are brutal though. Front squats are just not fun. There's no part of it that I'm enjoying. Other than racking it when I'm done. <laughs> All right. I tried to be a bit more aggressive on the, the way down and it made it feel better, but it's still like, it still was going forward a little bit on the left side. So that second rep would have been dodgy, but I'm gonna try to do the rest reps like that. I think that will just be better. There'll be a better speed to them in general. And really, this is where it's risky. I got two more singles, theoretically. I could try to do it as a double and just get them done. And then that goes back to what the original program was closer or I could play it more conservative and do two singles. What we're gonna do is hopefully smoke the first rep and then be confident enough to try a second one. Make or miss, I, I wanna be confident enough to do it for a double in a state that I'm in, it's just not a, not a prime state. But we'll get it working, we'll get it rocking, and we'll see how it works. As long as we're not doing bottom up front squats, I'm a happy camper. So it's hope for two. It's possible. I mean, very possible.
まあ <laughs> Just wasn't meant to be. And I felt confident enough on that second one where I was hoping it would go up, but oh, they just kicked my butt today. That's what front squats do. I'll do a day like this and it'll just, you know, destroy me. And the speed won't be good. Technique won't be good. Man, it just won't feel good. But next time I'll do them, I'll probably feel a lot better. Oh, that's where the non non fun part of front squats are. But now we're on to the easy part. <sighs> well, we can give it zero reps in reserve. And then we're just not going to do the last set. I'm not loading it back up there. That's enough front squats. And delete the accessories because I'm not doing band pull aparts and face pulls. I'm doing the med ball throws. Then actually once we do three sets of clean pulls at 180. So we're going to do this first set at 45. And just go right to 180. It says 181. I guess it wants me to do clean pulls at my front squat. Little do they know. Now that's a pretty low percentage. But... We get them done. It's only uh, three, three doubles. So same way I just uh, did with front squats. Not too bad. Pools always, pools always fill me with confidence. All right, so I got 130. So I just put a red on. And since the clip makes 185, and that's a better number than 181, we're just gonna do that. Pulls are easy, thank goodness. <laughs> I think lifting would be a absolute train wreck like every day of the week if my pulls were also difficult. So we got 185. These will be easy. May not move easy, but It'll be easy enough. So three doubles, and the way of getting done pretty quick. I mean, this is uh, thankfully the part of the workout I can be very expeditious through. Started to fall down. Yeah, I got a different hat on today because my other one's just with my uh, my work stuff. Cause I wear it when I'm outside. I got car rider duty, so I'm outside for 30 minutes in the morning and afternoon. But I always think they're gonna move like super fast because it doesn't. I don't know. It's a different <laughs> clean pull speed. It felt slow, but like deadlift speed, it felt fine. But it really shouldn't feel fast as far as like the clean pull goes because you know, it's 10 kilos more than I've cleaned. If it felt super fast and super light, then <laughs> should just only front squat till I can squat it up. But easy peasy. Another next set here, another double. 
All I really think about when I'm doing pulls is just pushing with my legs. But my back kind of will do <laughs> my back will do enough. So let's make sure I'm pushing, trying to do as much with my legs. And honestly, I think that's a big reason why my deadlift got better when I started weightlifting is I just use my legs on my pulls better. So then I just got more off the ground. Uh, the only other explanation, because I didn't really practice deadlifts other than with pulling, or pulls, I should say. <laughs> Try to get my hips a little bit lower on that next set. That's the other thing that's tricky is like everything kind of goes uh, goes back to my back and my strong parts of my body, so it kind of makes sense that my hips might shoot up or a little bit too high or just be set too high. They're just going to be higher in general than what would be the most ideal form for the clean. That's never going to be something that I'm going to be super low unless I'm <laughs> unless I want to be bad at weightlifting. You have to make trade-offs. I can pull very fast, but my hips are going to have to be a little bit higher. And that's just natural for anyone, I suppose, that's built similar to I am, just like it is more advantageous for someone that's built better for squats to have their hips a bit lower in the start. Whew, maybe I'm just coping really hard. But we'll do the last set. Last double. I think they only took like 100 grams of uh, caffeine today, so I'm not super disappointed. I'm not like crazy hyped up for training, or I didn't think I would bother getting super caffeinated. All right, last double. One day I'll clean that, but I kind of felt in my rib there a little bit. So now I'll do some of the med ball throws. I might do some like glute stuff too, but I'm not going to film that. Med ball throws, I've been really liking. There's kind of a fun exercise. And now that I kind of have them figured out with how I want them to look, doing them kneeling or sitting on my legs. And then just flipping it up. It's a really fun exercise. Three, four, let's do a set to five on both. I did a lot of arms the other day, but you never do too much shoulders, shoulder accessory work, I should say. Is that five? I'll do an extra to make sure. Uh, try to get straight up and then straight down that fluid motion. And I know my elbow is dropping, but I'm trying to prevent it from dropping. So then all my uh, shoulders are decelerating the bar or the, uh, whoop, the ball. <sighs> whoop, jeez. That was a, that was a coordinated throw. Uh, you kind of have to push up through your thumb or aim with your thumb, if that makes sense. Uh, A little bit harder on my left not because of uh, even weakness but coordination Ooh. 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 all right we'll do one more each side two three four five oh eight four six <laughs> make sure that was five but yeah it's about it for this mic up video i kind of wanted to do a mic up not because i had too much particular to talk about just because 
it would help with the editing process and making sure that I stay up to date with uh, videos and whatnot, making sure all of this got submitted properly. Should. I don't know why it doesn't say my day is not complete. It should say it's complete. Oh, well. Getting that little red dot in the app is kind of annoying, but sometimes it bugs out. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, there it goes. It was my first front squat. I must have not entered that in. But what's tomorrow? Tomorrow I have six snatches, six singles that start at 97 kilos. So those could potentially get very heavy. Ideally, they would. And clean and jerks, I have three at 126. Ideally, those would also get pretty heavy. And then Saturday, it says power position work, power position work for the snatch and for the clean and jerk. But I am going to be doing hangs for both because I just don't believe in power position work. I don't think it works. I don't think it's useful. And I think it teaches bad technique. And I think, I think it messes up more than it could ever help. Maybe I'm wrong with that, but I just don't believe in it. And I think hangs are close enough to it to where you're getting the benefit that you'd get from a power position lift without any of the negatives of you know, teaching to whip the bar on your body or bending your arms to get it, especially for the clean. For the snatch, I get the hip snatch a little bit more, but I just don't think it's useful. It's cl too close to CrossFit for my liking, and a lot of CrossFit stuff is just not good for training for getting stronger at the lifts. But that's going to be it for this one. So you made it this far. I appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate you uh, encouraging my laziness with editing because these are a lot easier to edit. They just take longer to render, but the actual editing is much easier to do. But that's it for this one. I will talk to you all in the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.